Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, at this channel, we're a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. We are all about saving lives over here at the Jamaica Young Police Center. So that's why we support preemptive strikes. Because preemptive strikes save life. Anyone who can make you believe absurdity can make you commit any criminal act. A wise man can change his mind, but a fool will never. Because he's a fool. And remember that you must never try to educate a fool. Because the fool will eat you. Only a friend will tell you the truth. And fakers will cheer you on even when you are wrong. Anyone who has the balls or spine to tell a friend the truth, after that, most people, especially Jamaicans, normally get vexed and upset with you and end the relationship. But guess what? They weren't even your friends anyway because they do not respect others who are honest, truthful, and straightforward with them and not a faker. Before we begin today's video, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel want our audience and detractors to know that anything that we have said here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel that is incorrect, you can reach out to us at 954-556-0275 and we will give you the chance to correct the same. To us, the first and foremost thing about us on this channel is our character, credibility and reputation. We have never slander or defame anyone's name on this platform. And whatever you are hearing is the truth. If the truth shall kill those who hate the truth, let it kill them. Remember that we said before, those who do not know the truth are fool, and those who knew the truth and call it a lie is a depraved and criminal minded people. Never say what you want to do until you experience it. Like being a police officer. So don't say that things, you know, until you experience it. So you cannot, you know, you know, have a lot of blow ons out there telling you how police are supposed to operate. But don't say anything until you have experience being a police officer. Yes, yeah, so if you're a black person in this world, you know that the continent of Africa, especially the Christian country in Africa, is on a severe attack from 2008 from the election of Barack Obama the only time the black continent have gotten a form of relief in Africa from this campaign of confusion and disrespect to other people's country was when Donald Trump was president you know when Donald Trump became president he did not disrespect other countries because he followed through with the the United Nations Charter but as you know, when Barack Obama was president, he just pushed it in people's face and now they said Joe Biden is doing it. One of the main reasons why Donald Trump won the election was because of this issue and the other issue that um, Hillary Clinton was on the investigation and they beat it and beat it and the black people did not vote. You cannot, after so many years of wickedness you have done to our race of people you still want to be the god you think that you are the god of of this planet or you are the owner and creator of this planet and you are not because all of us are human beings it's just that some people have more advanced weapon that can kill people and people are not afraid of dying for the truth but you know they want people to be submissive and be slaves to them and the african people they are not taking it anymore, so continue the journey. But our ancestors have been enslaved. When you're talking about the most evil things that ever done to any human being in history, has been done to the African people by the colonizers. Yes, the white people from Europe, all of them decided to go to Africa and carve up Africa and split the continent. You understand? They went to China, but they did not did that to the Chinese because apparently the Chinese did not have the resources that they wanted, or because they say that black people to them black be, black people are less than human beings as they have promoted for years. So what has happened is that you know the African people 
of all the people here on earth, you know, the African people are the one who has been subjected to the dehumanized treatment. And the African people have fought, even those who fought, they were labeled terrorists, yes, like um, men like Steve Beaker, you know, and they killed him. Nothing happened to all those people in their own country, you know, imagine somebody invade your country, take it over and them become the ruling class because they have the guns and everything. So now that they want to colonize the African people all over again. So it's a different form of slavery that is happening this time. This time the slavery is mental slavery. And you have some black people, shameless, yes, like Kamala Harris, Barack Obama, and the African people, they are eating out now. Because the African people are saying, is death before this honor. So Kamala Harris, now it's 2023, so Kamala Harris, so she went down to Africa, and I can tell you that the African people, they have been making videos and sending it out uh, through WhatsApp, Instagram, and the various media, social media network, because they want them to know that they are not into the European, the European behavior, because they are black people. And the thing is that with the black people, they are saying that what is happening is is the black country, the African countries that practice Christianity that they are attacking. So that's why um, the people want to change because they said the, the Muslim, the Muslim people in Africa, they have zero tolerance for anything European. And they have no fear. They have these people, they have no fear of dying because they believe in dying for the truth so that is the reason why they sent Kamala Harris down to Africa imagine you as a black person at least have some form of decency man ethics truthfulness and honesty when you as a black person is doing that you're only degrading yourself and making yourself shameless because the black community is not going to respect you because you don't respect yourself so I want you to listen to these African people, because you know that, you know, guess what? If you think that slavery is done, you better wait again, because this era of slavery, this is the one that they're going to use the computer and stuff like that to keep you out of the system. And if you, you know, but let's see if them can kill off billions of people who do not subscribe to their madness, because it's a minority, you know. So you watch, you listen, and you decide. against LGBTQ people or gays and lesbians, okay? But I want to say this to the United States government. If you love LGBTQ people so much, you do love gays and lesbians so much in Africa, the best thing you can do for them is to pack all of them from Africa and let them live with you in the United States where you can protect them and allow them to marry and teach their licking ass. Because here in Africa, we barely have good medicines and medical facilities to treat communicable diseases. Then we want us to add lick a man's licking and smelling ass to it. We don't have the medicines for them. We don't. We don't even have the uh, doctors and the special uh, specialists for them. So please take them over there, because over here in Africa, I want to tell you people, the LGBTQ rights or bill will never ever be passed. We will never make it normal or tell our kids that it is normal for a man to fuck another man's ass or for a woman to sleep with another woman. We will never ever teach our kids that. We will not make it on television. We will not make it in our constitution. It will not happen. I have nothing against gay sex or lesbian sex. You want to you prefer a woman or a man do that in your room where my kids cannot see it. But not in public because kids are empty vessels. What you put in them is who they become. So it will never be normal for a man to sleep with a man in Africa. See, I have a friend who, 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 was, who, was, being, who was part of this gay sex. His ass started leaking, he started smelling. He was just lucky he didn't get HIV and he seek good medical attention and now he's okay. Right now he doesn't even want to be part of men. He's mostly in the midst of women. It is not normal. The health implications that come with that is too, is too much for us to legalize it. What at all has the United States government been offering Africans? What at all have you people been doing 
for us. Because I don't see it. I don't see it. Whatever you can give us and other countries who don't want us to pass this bill have the same thing. We will never pass this bill in Ghana. It will never be normal. I will never tell my son it's normal to sleep with another man. I will not teach my daughter that. It will never be normal here in Africa. Huh? So if you want it in your country, we will pack all of them to your country, they will be there. Don't tell me civilization. What kind of civilization is that? Even animals don't do that. Birds don't do that. Fishes don't do that. And you want human beings to do that. Out of poverty, most rich men nowadays want to sleep with young men before they, they help them or give them opportunities in, 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 in Africa. They do if, if, if they refuse, well, they don't want to help them. They don't want to give them. African, but she's not the kind of African that you would, you know, that is from the continent because Africa is a diverse continent you know with arabs and you know more or less she's one of them she's an arab she you know but she's african and you you know she's just expressing herself how they feel about the west but what the west don't understand you know money not because, not because you think that money is god you're gonna change people government because if you try to impose your will on people because of your philosophy or are you if you do not believe in a supreme being or believe in the laws of nature and science then this is what you're going to get and guess what unless you're going to kill off all of the straight people them who do not subscribe to what you're selling because look, listen to evil senator kennedy who is a republican and american but let's not forget you know although the republican they are claiming all of this Except 12 of his colleagues last year, December, they voted for the Gay um, Marriage Act in America and um, racial marriage. Love it, love it. Uh, already um, solidified racial marriage. Cause anything the white man wants, he gets it. He wanted a black wife and he got it from the Supreme Court. Anything the white man wants. So this is the white man want us, so the Supreme Court give it to him. So I want you to listen to what Senator Kennedy is saying and based and based on what this our African sister is saying about you know Kamala Harris coming to Africa trying to impose American dominance and want to colonize African people and tell them that up is down and down is up and they are having none of it. Or ventilate on their yoga match if you use the wrong pronoun who think kids should be able to change their gender at recess, who carry around Ziploc bags of kale to give them energy, and who think they are better than us. By the way, to me, kale tastes like I'd rather be fat. Yeah, so you heard the African lady, you know, the African sister says that you know, they don't want um, the European madness in their country where, you know, telling your kids um, they can go to recess as a boy and return as a girl because that is just madness. That means they're mad people. And black people are saying, come on, white people, you have been lying for centuries. At least let the 21st century start, let the um, 2023 and beyond show that you have. I think our moral, ethics, decency, conscience, and truthfulness in here. But you cannot expect a leopard to change its path because a leopard is just a leopard. And only a fool would expect a liar to change. Unless the liar you know, is going to get some form of therapy. And with therapy, but you know that there is no medication for lying. None. Because it's just natural for a person who is a liar to just continue to lie. And that, that's how it is. You know, so we are, because lying is abomination unto the Lord, we support truthfulness. You know, people must appreciate the truth because the truth will set you free. And we must remember that, you know, God is the Almighty, whether or not you want to believe that there is a God. Because if you believe that you came on this earth by yourself and no, and you know, you are the master and the god of this universe. You are wrong. 
and the reason why we will tell you at this channel that you are wrong yeah so it doesn't matter how they try to spin it and lie to people no two persons of the same sex cannot have children so it doesn't matter how they're talking oh this trans man he had a baby i don't know where they come with them think are trans I remember, you know, growing up, anything that you will trans have to do with engine and stuff like that. Something that's propelled with kinetic energy. It has to have some form of energy for it to move. So I don't know how, oh, you know, that would be like um, the um, transformer. So I don't, you know, so them call them transgender. That is the thing. But the thing is that, as um, the African sister is saying, you can, you can do whatever you want with your kids. Just leave our kids alone and that is one of the biggest problem in this world the minority it's like the, the patient want to run the asylum oh you can't have Bellevue because if the patient is running Bellevue and everything everybody now get mad all the doctor now get mad now because I patient that prescribe prescribe I tell the doctor what to do that cannot work man so what they're gonna do they're going to write black police so even the church, church, people stop going to church because of this, because the church, the church do not believe in the word of God because it's all about money. Because if the church believe in God, they would stand fast, stand fast, you know, steadfast. Um, in Jamaica, um, you know, um, the church that are holding up, they are still there. So, so we we'll continue the journey. You know, we're here at the Jamaica Young Police and it's all about, you know, telling people the truth. It is unfortunate that you know the African continent is coming under this severe attack from the you know from the enemies of Africa, and they are not doing it to the Arabs because you see what guess what the Arabs are violent people. The Arabs do not care how many of them you can kill. You know, one thing they want to make sure that whatever you are trying to impose on them, you cannot do it. You will not succeed. They rather die. So. Well, let's see always oh, this is gonna work out because the African people, their African leaders, they are more cuddling up the Chinese and the Russians. And do you think that is good for the world? No. Because we know the Chinese and the Russians, they are unconscionable liars. But what what the Americans and the Europeans left these people to do when the Chinese and the Russian is not telling them, not imposing their culture and them and tell them to accept this or do that you have to respect people and people respect you but when you're behaving like a bully as if you're a god then people is gonna resist yeah thanks for watching the jamaica young police channel the jamaica young police channel out